main plantation? Yep. Caligar. Hey, look, I've been helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Leach. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help. You. Obliged. You coming in or what? Hey, mister. Howdy, sir. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Hey, friend. Hello. Working hard there. That man's got to eat. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us, and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty, and stupidity. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains mind but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please.
you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'll bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. 
If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Damn, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? Leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from... Street, right through town to the steps of the Becker Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? Just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Uh, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Yeah, it's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Get down. Boys. Come on. Come on. Go home! Oh, shut your mouth! What are you what doing? Hell is going on? Well, man! Oh my God! Go shit! Oh, Causing all this trouble! Sick. You don't even know what you're doing! Go home! Shut your mouth! Get home! 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 Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is a great day for all of us. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Mm, founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Yeah. 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 His philosophy hey. dependent Shh. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to this speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. Stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, you need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Shh. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always will. Bo, why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh, come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out... Mr. Morgan, but I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. 
My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. 